Cool Cats have wanted this kind of package for seven months. And if it finally gets through, it's not Johnson's A bill and it's not him that should be lauded for it, even though he is, he's just been this keystone that has eventually done the right thing. But meanwhile, absolute nut jobs like Marjorie Taylor Greene and other ones are spouting insanity and are trying to amend bills accordingly. This is insane. So Putin's wing of the Republican Party has now requested around 100 amendments to the Ukraine bill that sound like they were written in a Russian troll factory. They include terms like Ukrainian Nazis, biolabs, Nazi Azov Battalion and more. OK, let's read what certain ones have done. So it tells you who has done it here. Oglis from Tennessee uh, prohibits the use of funds to this would be an amendment if it, if it was if it got through. It, the Ukraine aid bill would prohibit the use of funds to arm, train or otherwise assist the neo-Nazi Azov Battalion, its successor, the third separate assault brigade, third separate assault brigade, are incredible or any other successor organisations. You would only say that if you had been passed that information by the by the Kremlin or by sources that are getting that stuff from from Russian propaganda. This is direct Russian propaganda being att attempted to be put into a US congressional bill. It's insane. Marjorie Taylor Greene requires all, this bill requires, should require all members of Congress who vote in favour of this act to conscript in the Ukrainian military. What? So if you vote yes, you then have to go and sign up to the Ukrainian military. She seriously wants that in the bill. Greene, again, two more. This bill should prohibit funding until Ukraine stops persecuting Christians. When we've seen data to suggest it's entirely the opposite. It's the Russian occupied territories where Christian perse persecution is taking place. It's just insane. She also wants prohibiting uh, funding until Ukraine closes all bio laboratories, of which there is evidence of precisely none. This is this is the, the, the propaganda that was kicking around at the beginning of the war two years ago. That no one believes this anymore, apart from, oh my goodness, someone trying to make law in the US. Trying to... to put bills, vote on bills, and she's this disinformed. Norman from South Carolina, also supported by Perry from Pennsylvania and Biggs from Arizona, says, strikes the entire bill text, an amendment to strike the entire bill text. Okay, brilliant. But there's more, and it's just as bad. Gosar from Arizona, ugh. Prohibits the use of any funds for Ukraine until 90 days after the president has initiated peace negotiations between Russia and Ukraine. We'll give you funds, but only after you, you've capitulated to Russia. Reduces every dollar amount to the bill in the bill to zero. Well done, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Two more green ones. Prohibits funding until Ukraine, Ukraine bans abortion. <sighs> Green. Prohibits funding for the Azov Battalion. Green. Prohibits funding until Ukraine turns over all information related to Hunter Biden and Burisma. Jesus wept. But there's more. More amendments. Green. Prohibits funding until former actor Vladimir Zelensky, not president, former actor. This is disgusting and disrespectful. To someone who's fighting, who's leading his country, two years into an invasion by a superpower. But no, we're not going to give aid until former actor Vladimir Zelensky resigns as president of Ukraine. Again, Green. Funds made available by this act shall be offset by the salaries of members who vote in favour of it. Not only do you have to conscript to fight in Ukraine, but your salary should also uh, um, be, be offsetting this funding bill. Green. Prohibits funding until peace negotiations begin between Russia and Ukraine. And Green again directs the president to withdraw the US from NATO. Holy crap. Um, just absolutely incredible. Incredible. What's interesting is that... Um, Jared Moscovich has also added, seeing all this, he's, he's trolling back. So a Repub uh, Democrat, uh, a, uh, I think he's brilliant, a, a Democrat lawmaker, has added the amendments that the, um, uh, oh, I'm going to have to go and find the exact text now. Here it is. And it is delightful. Uh, so let's read it to you. This one's probably the best one down here. So amendment, this is from Jared Moskowitz of Florida. At the end of the bill, before the short title, insert the following. Uh, resolved that 403 Cannon House office building be renamed the Neville Chamberlain Room. In other words, Neville Chamberlain, the British uh, appeasement, uh, sort of infamous for his appeasement of Hitler at the beginning of World War II, renames her her, her room, um, her office, or... Uh, Brilliant, the Neville Chamberlain room. And then trolls with this. At the end of the bill, before the short title, insert the following. Uh, whereas Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, GA14, has repeatedly attempted to block aid to Ukraine, empowering Vladimir Putin's unlawful violation of Ukrainian sovereignty and territorial integrity. Whereas Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, GA14, has reposted information from the Strategic Culture Foundation, a Russian-based disinformation and propaganda channel that has been sanctioned by OFAC. So she, she, that's where she's getting her information from. In the sense of Congress that Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, GA14, should be appointed Vladimir Putin's special envoy to the United States Congress. Ouch. So nothing about changing the bill and stopping funding or but you know we're going to change this if we'll have an amendment to this bill that she becomes a special putin envoy and that her building her office is renamed the neville chamberlain room i i think it's brilliant because you know goodness me that woman is dangerous okay right 